みなさん、こんにちは。オタクオヤジだ。お元気ですか ?Hello everyone, this is オタクオヤジ again.、Uh, well, I do apologize that my frequency of videos has seemed to drop to roughly once a week, but I'm afraid、uh, work has caught up, so、uh, I could have posted as frequently as I did in the past. I hope all of you understand. Well, anyway, today I'll be lighting up the Kato Tokyo 5050-4000 series Shibuya Hikari Z. As well as running it on my little layout,、uh, Ota Oyamachi. I hope you enjoy that. Kato's Tokyo 5050 Shibuya Hikari set comes in two full bookcases of five cars each, making this a 10 car set. Now, what I like about、uh, this particular set is that they form a continuous pattern. So if you join the train together like so, you get a recurring pattern. In addition, I love the details.、Uh, On the cars itself, for example, such as the Tokyo Line logo printed on each and、uh, every individual window pane. Now, this is a look at the front of the car, and the Shibuya Hikari logo is not a decal, it's actually a piece that's already、uh, pre assembled on the windscreen. Right, let's get to lighting her up. Here are the items I'll be using to light up the Hikari. First, I will have the cool white LED strips because this is a commuter train. I'll be using clear plastic strips as support, copper sheets cut into thin strips、uh, to serve as conducting material,、okay. uh, bridge rectifiers, capacitors,、okay. Tamiya tweezers, o f a hobby knife. A metal ruler to measure and bend the copper strips, nipper, and of course the trusty IKEA scissors. Even though I'll be lighting up the entire set, I will only be lighting one car in this video because it gets quite repetitive. Alright, so this is Sentosha. So, how we open it is basically at the bogies, there are several latches, so just simply、uh, pull and push in opposite directions, gently but firmly, of course. And then, because、uh, usually some light fixtures are、uh, caught onto the actual、uh, structure itself, be very gentle as you tease it out. And that's it. Seems like I have enough working space that I can avoid using jumper cables. Excellent. I start with the copper strip. First, I fold it in half. Then I cut it. And finally, I trim it down to size using the IKEA scissors. Get yours today. Making the two required bands, the first one at 1.5 cm, a slight one, and the second, a 90 degree band at 1.7 cm. Next, I put the copper contact strips into the undercarriage. There are actually two slots here. And there, and just simply slot them in. Once again, gentle and firm. And I'll just、uh, secure it with using my tweezers, and I'll do the same for the other side. Moving on to the bridge rectifier, I first bend、uh, the pins outwards on the、uh, side where the polar polarity symbols are. And then again, the hard surface, I flatten them so that they are flush with the, well, the casing. For the other set of the legs, I spread them sideways until they look a little bit like fighter jets. Now, test fit. Okay, I、uh, might not get good content,、uh, contact, so a little bit of adjustment is required. Second test fit. Yes, that's good contact. We're good to go. Now I solder the bridge rectifier to the LED strip, starting with one of the contact points on the LED strip. I solder one leg of the bridge rectifier. And then the other. And to ensure I have good contact, 
I press down the bridge rectifier with my Tamiya tweezer and solder again. Now it's the capacitor's turn. I use the same method as I do for the bridge rectifier, uh, establishing, uh, soldering uh, one of the contact points first before I solder the capacitor in. Now I realize that, uh, well, my soldering skills uh, are not really very good and I'm still having difficulty soldering behind a camera. So, sorry. I now stick the LED strip to the clear plastic sheet which I use as a supporting base. Almost at the end, soldering the LED strip to the chassis, well actually the contact point that's inserted into the chassis. And after that, all I need to do is just to trim off the excess. And we're done. Moment of truth time again. Yes. Presenting the Tokyo 5050-4000 series Shibuya Hikari. That was reverse and now this is in front direction. I really love the recurring pattern. Well, um, next I'll be showing you how it looks like when it's running on Ota Oyamachi. Uh, but if you haven't got the time to stick around, well, until the next time, stay safe, stay blessed, matane!